I'm going to be demonstrating a chemical action by making a vinegar and baking soda bottle rocket. Well, the materials needed will be uh, vinegar, baking soda, one square of toilet paper, uh, measuring cup, two liter bottle, funnel, it's recommended to use a funnel, but we're using it anyways, a cork, uh, we're using electrical tape, but you can use duct tape. Uh, a one teaspoon, measuring spoon, a board, and a screw. Right now, what I'm going to be describing to you is the launching platform for the bottle rocket. Well, you need at least a flat surface or a flat board like this that we have. We use a three quarter inch board, but you can use whatever you want. We have a two to three inch screw uh, screwed into it. Uh, we already put the effort in putting it inside of it and all that. And then we already wrapped the uh, electrical tape around the cork, but you need a cork. You can use duct tape to wrap around it for the thickness to help uh, uh, comfort the the seal of the two liter bottle and just take the cork put it in the screw and just tighten it down well the purpose for the stand or the cork and stand is so it could have a stable launching platform for the two liter bottle um so the two liter bottle would go on here when you have the baking soda and vinegar inside of here and do it real quickly just Real quick, just slap it on there. You got your seal. So we got the square sheet of toilet paper, and what you're going to be needing is one, uh, one and a half to two inch uh, table teaspoons of baking soda uh, to roll it up and put inside the bottle. Right now, just adding one and a half teaspoons. And you roll it up or flatten it down and then roll it up so that you got the main or you got your little ammunition. Fold the corners in, just keep on trucking. There you go, you got your little bullet. Uh, now we're going to be uh, measuring the vinegar into the, your measuring cup. You should use one cup of vinegar so that if you got your fluid so the chemical reaction will start. There you go. Right now we're going to be adding the vinegar into the 2 liter bottle. I don't want to make a mess so I'm going to be using a funnel putting it inside. So there you go, you just got to pour it in. There you go, you got your solution. So now, since we got our solution, or inside our bottle with the vinegar, and we got our uh, baking soda uh, round and our launch pad, we're going to be going to the drop zone real soon. I'll meet you there. This comes the fun part. We're going to be dropping the uh, baking soda round inside the solution, and the chemical reaction will be, uh, hopefully, that the... Uh, Toilet paper will dissolve into the solution and the baking soda will react with the vinegar and it'll make that uh, carbon dioxide and make the big boom. Here we go. Uh oh. Give it some time. <laughs> 